easier to press, just more responsive. If, if I just say more responsive all the time, is that enough? Is this a real review if I just say that? Like, all right, this button, great. Oh my gosh, that's really good. Okay, $200 mouse. What the f So, uh, like I said, I took off the plastic film and then they took off the anti-theft acrylic box and then I went to open this and that's as far as I got. So, uh, first, I used to use wireless mice. When I first started streaming, I actually used a wireless mouse. This was one of them. Um, this was the last one I used before I switched to a Sensei. And what I liked about them was the size primarily. Um, Cords can mess you up, especially when you're using low sense in a game where you have to do like 180s. So more for FPSs, less for StarCraft 2, um, probably less for uh, MOBAs, but I am playing a lot of Overwatch right now. And I used to really like playing CSGO. So it's it would be really nice if there was a cordless mouse with a good sensor that actually had good response time. I got into Masters League and StarCraft, stepped up my game, went to like Wired Mice, and then um, got GM with Wired Mice, kept it with Wired Mice. My current mouse is dying, and I was super skeptical, but I read, I read some polls about the sensor in this guy. So this is an optical mouse, and apparently has a really good sensor, and the sensor was meant for this to be a wireless mouse, like it was meant to be wired, and then they improved upon it. So this isn't, cause you can use it with the cord, but this is a real, supposedly a real wireless mouse that competes with wired mice. I look, I have like, I've only like read about this mouse, okay? But it's really selling me so far. I'm gonna open it and see how it feels in my hand. Oh, I did it, you guys. You guys, I did it. So this is the box, okay? Um, you know, it's got that kind of like lame, futuristic look to it. So, wow, so futuristic. Guys, the future is now, the future is now. And then, probably how you plug in the wires, how you charge it. You can also use the wire to extend the sensor range. So that's really good, you know, if you're playing at a LAN, um, you're not using your own computer. You know, sometimes you have no idea where the computers are gonna be, so that's just really reassuring that you will be able to put the sensor, no matter how far away the tower is, like you're gonna have the sensor from your mouse and still be able to use the mouse like you would at home. Um, so open this. Oh, okay, it does come off. Guys, I can't open any, I don't know why I unbox anything. This is why most of my unboxing streams are completely unserious. <laughs> Unboxing my snake dolls. Yeah. That's that's the snake with the katana, you guys. Okay, so um I guess this is so you can make it Emmy Dextrous. It just has the other side keys. I'm thinking and then that buddy I think the cord. Feels good quality, you know. Comes with This might sound silly, but um <laughs> I like the size of the Velcro strap. <laughs> Great Velcro strap. Great Velcro strap. All right. And now, let me manhandle this mouse. I'll take the plastic off the bottom. Off, on. I'm guessing it, oh, okay. It's charged to some extent. I'm just gonna take the plastic off the sides too. I'm so, dude, I still have the plastic on my monitor. I can see the monitor stand still has the plastic on it. The back of my monitor still has the plastic on it. So um, you can set the, I mean, there's like, you know, the fun things you can do with the LED. You can set it to breathing or pulsing or something like that, whatever the, they call it. You'll get more battery life out of it if you turn off the LEDs completely. I don't know how much the battery life changes but I mean, this is, this is a really, this, the weight's really good on this. I actually got the weight on this guy. I read about how some of the components for it, like this, I think the scroll wheel, see how it's hollow? 
or it's cut out in the middle. You know, they really reduced weight in a bunch of the components. It's wow. I, I mean, looking at it, you would not think it feels the way it feels right now. This feels really good on my hand. Can't get over how futuristic it looks, though. So far, I think these buttons are way easier to press. I also read about the contacts for these guys. Um, I don't remember what it was exactly, but there's something about these buttons being more responsive and easier to press, just more responsive. If, if I just say more responsive all the time, is that enough? Is this a real review if I just say that? Like, all right, this button, great. Oh my gosh, that's really good. Oh my God, that's actually, <laughs> wait a second, that's really responsive. Wow. Oh my God. And then I hate how these scroll wheels, I hate how it's always so hard to press into these. This one's no exception. It's, it's as difficult as my current mouse. Yeah, because I actually, I like trying to find functionality for this, but it's too hard to press into. Like, you can't really stabilize this very easily. Button, button. Okay, I really like that. Oh my God, that's really good. Uh, just overall, very responsive, responsive LEDs. It's gonna change color. Yep, there we go, there we go. The everything's responsive, okay. The everything. Some little buddies here to release. And then probably to set different profiles is probably what these keys are for up here. Or I mean, you could bind them to anything. So let me read the box again, see what else I learned about this mouse that I can talk about. I'm like, I'm, Dude, how am I feeling my hand? For me, that's probably the most important. Sensors, I mean, I mean, I've talked to uh, people that manufacture esports mice, and of course, being a player myself, sensors can be important. A lot of times, they're not that important. You know what I mean? But you probably will feel safer and more, you know, have more peace of mind if you have a better sensor. I mean, like, you should probably just get, you know, if, if you're going to try and get into esports, though, don't don't concentrate it. Don't concentrate on it until you're like getting up there. You know what I mean? Because a, a much better sensor, it's not going to push you from, I don't know, like gold league to master's league or anything like that. I think this, okay, so one millisecond wired or wireless. Yep, I saw something about twitch movement and I think by that they mean flick movement. So that's interesting for me again, cause I really like FPS games. So, you know, flicking, very integral. I really, really like sniping. Flicking, super important for that. I think that's what they mean by twitch. Yeah, for me, uh, fit is the most important and button, Button placement for me, these two were really important for me at StarCraft because injecting was such a big part of playing Zerg. And then, I mean, weight's really important. I need to get a new mouse pad. I've been testing a bunch of different cloth mouse pads right now. I'll, I'll get into it later. The full name is a G900 Chaos Spectrum. I just, I don't, Chaos, okay. Okay, Razor, going, going for those, uh, those cool mouse names. So cool, wow, Anaconda. Oh, oh boy. So many. Everything's a snake. I, I get it. Everything's a snake. Chaos, Trinity, like, I don't know. Okay, Logitech. Following in, following in the esports mice footsteps. Yeah, I don't see where it says it. Could have sworn I read that on the box. Um, I should probably plug this in because I want to use this tonight. So I'll just show you guys what it looks like when you use it wired. Oh my God, <laughs> it's gonna break my $200 mouse right now. So staff's in pretty well. I mean, you really don't have to be concerned. It seems like that if it's in it or not, or it's gonna slip out. And that's also how it charges. Again, I really like this. The braided cord, a lot of braided cords in front of me right now, so. Very, very great response time on this cord. <laughs> and then... 
So, where's my receiver? I think you can plug the receiver into this too. It's in that little box, my little buddy. Guys, did anyone see where I... I'm gonna have to watch the spot so I can find out where I put it. Oh, here it is. Oh, I found it. I found it. Which part is which? Oh, this end. There it is. Wait, I found it. It was on this end. Sorry. And then, yeah. Put the USB end in. Um, I have a USB hub on my desk that's failing, so I don't know if this would work. But I'm going to plug it in. If my cam goes offline, it means it failed. So I'm going to plug this in up here. But yeah, I mean, I mean that's pretty cool. Oh boy. And let's see how it installs. And um, probably should set my DPI at some point. Man, this is really, dude, if this, okay, if this is a wired, a wireless mouse that is actually as good as good wired mice, I mean, that's insane. Oh, all right, it's up. Um, I've used a few esports mice where the drivers are actually, they're just kind of poor. If I were to trust any mouse to have good drivers, I mean, you, you would kind of trust Logitech, right? Am I wrong? You know, like, just because they have the foundation, you know, like, they probably have more software engineering experience than a random new esports company. I don't know if it is going to auto install the, I don't know what the program's called. You know, uh, what is it, like Synapse for Razer? I don't know if it's going to auto install that. I don't see a booklet that describes more of this in detail. Probably though, because if you're buying a $200 mouse, either you're just getting the most expensive thing so it doesn't matter, or you already really, really researched it a lot. So they don't really need to go into more detail because this is the only other thing I see, this small pamphlet. This is probably just gonna be warnings about not not taking this into your bathtub with you don't do that okay don't let small children game unsupervised <laughs> operating temperature between zero celsius and 40 degrees celsius yeah that's not gonna help me and there was just the guide on um how to connect it and it's very i can't ask you know there's no text just pictures which is always way more confusing. I don't know. I don't know why. It just is. It's interesting that they emit information. A lot of... Because this is supposed to be... I'm pretty sure this is marketed as an esports gaming mouse, you know? And a lot of those kinds of mice, they usually have, you know, they usually have like a player on the box. Uh, there's this one company that kept telling me they wanted me to be on one of their boxes or something like that. <sighs> Oh boy, <laughs> oh boy. I don't know, I'm interested by the lack of text. I do like this box it comes in though. I'm gonna keep it. it. All in all, I would say that this $200 mouse, at the very least, is worth the box. Great box, look at that. I'm just gonna go play with this box. Oh wow, look at, look at that branding right there. Nice. Look, I have the sensor right here in front of me on the cord, I can just pop out the sensor part, pop my mouse in, it's the exact same. Cause like you're, you're gonna have your sensor right there. It's so like, it's, it's so easy. Even if you start, even if you forget about the mouse and you're low on battery, it is so easy to just pop it in. Whereas you don't have batteries near you all the time, you know? Yeah, so at first, final words, at first I was like, there's no way I'm not getting a $200 mouse. That's so pointless. Um, and then I started reading about it. I gotta say, your cord can mess you up, especially when you're playing an FPS with where you need super, super, super low sense. Your cord can mess you up and not even having to worry about that. That is such a benefit. And then that the sensor on it is really good. Um, like again, I'm not someone who, who really pays much attention to sensors. It was just, I saw a bunch of polls about it. Um, I just like read the specs about it. So 
using other people's research and information that the sensor is also really good um you know that the engineering of the mouse is something you can really appreciate that's not a reason a 200 dollars mouse but you know i would definitely if i had to get another 200 dollars mouse for free yes i would maybe consider it maybe this might this might be good enough to use for free <laughs> okay all right so i'm gonna start using it and play a game <laughs> I was I was also really scared. I was so scared. Like I was like, there's no way. There is no way this is as good as any wired mice ever. There's no way. Oh my god, it's just I'm just gonna sacrifice myself. I didn't ask them if I can join like their team. Like I'm not getting out of this alive. Oh boy. That massacre. Anyways. Play of the game. Anyways. All all links to this, you know, get a two hundred dollar mouse. Get play of the game. This is, this is what will get. This is what will get you. Rains from above. I could not. I'm gonna. I'm gonna be very honest right now. I could not have done this without this mouse right here. I could not have pressed Q right there on someone else's alt. No. Good shit. Get online. We move swiftly. Just. It's just so much money. <laughs> Rains from above. Ah! Got him. Mercy. Is he right there? Oh, Trying to get them oh fucked up. Operating at maximum. With the mercy. Oh yes. Oh yes. Yes, pull that arm back with that $200 mouse. Put that $200 mouse to work, John Caitlin. <laughs> you can do it. Yes! Did I might not on my alt yet. We did it. Bye, my people need me. Ah, <laughs> uh, my mouse is just as responsive as yesterday. Yes. Look at, look at this. I can just hold it. I can just hold it. I can do this. Okay, now watch this. Wow, can you do this with with your mouse? Wow. Look at that.